Welcome to the workshop everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. To give you some background, about two months ago I've made a video about making a flute from another wood. It has gone really popular in these two months and many people have been sending me messages about hey how i make this flute i need the measurements please help me uh, so i've decided to make this video to show you the whole process so hopefully you can make your own flute and i hope this video answers all the questions so let's get into it well first things first what you're gonna need you're gonna need the blank as you can see it's just a piece of wood that's hollow inside. This one is hash wood. It's properly seasoned. And the measurements of, of this piece, uh, it's about 50 centimeters long. Uh, the inside diameter is 1.8 centimeters. And the outside diameter is 2.5 centimeters. Uh, which makes the walls about 0 35 centimeters thick. We are going to turn this uh, into a G flute or G5, hopefully. Uh, it's actually slightly longer than it needs to be, uh, but I think it's it's beneficial to have some extra length because you can always make the flute shorter, but making it longer is virtually impossible. So make sure uh, whatever type of a flute you are making. Uh, you have some extra length. I'm going to share the plans for the flute, you should see it on the screen right now. If you need to just pause the video and check all the, all the numbers you require. But I mean, use the plans as some kind of a guide. All these numbers are not set in stone. As you see as we go through the video, you just have to improvise sometimes. And already I can hear, but hey, there are some numbers missing, you know. Uh, what is the size of the playing holes? There's, there's nothing, no, no number, no diameter. Well, that's because, I don't know, nobody does. As you tune the flute, you, you slightly change the size of the playing holes when you tune the specific tone this hole makes. So, first you make a small hole, then you make it a bigger, and once it plays the tone you want, you are all good. You are also going to need a chisel. It's not like 100% necessary, but it's very useful to have. A piece of cork, a knife, preferably with a very sharp and thin point, a piece of softwood that fits inside the flute, a pencil, a piece of string, and a lot of sandpaper. The first step is going to be putting a line from the top to the bottom of the flute that goes straight across. We're going to use the string for that and the cork. Now we use the string as a guide and put some marks on the flute. And now just connect all the marks into a straight line. Now it's trying to mark the place for the blowing hole. In theory you could just put it like here, but it looks really weird. So I like to make the make the blowing hole like eight centimeters from, from the top of the flute. The next step is really crucial, so take your time here. 
Uh, we are going to cut a small hole at our mark with the round chisel. And we have the hole ready. This is what you should get. The next step is to decide what kind of shape your blowing hole is going to have. Uh, what I like to do and what I recommend you to do is to make the blowing hole shaped like this. Uh, it's the easiest kind of a blowing hole to, to play and it's not difficult to do. Uh, some people like to make the blowing holes perfectly round, some people are like them more square, uh, some people do them oval. You have to play around with this, uh, it slightly modifies the sound of the flute, uh, but as I say, you have to play around with this, experiment and see, see what your preference is. Carefully I start shaping the blowing hole, making it slightly bigger. Once you start getting to your desired shape, I recommend uh, replacing the knife with a piece of sandpaper and just shaping the hole like this. And again, remember, it's always easy to make the hole bigger, but making it smaller is impossible. So take your time, be careful with this. If you ruin it, you have to start over. As you are shaping the blowing hole, uh, you gradually go for a finer sandpaper and this is it pretty much this is the final shape there is uh, one more thing you have to do you have to make this edge the edge you are going to blow against sharp and really smooth so you're not going just like this, I mean, this way, but you're also going inside at an angle, like this, to make this edge really, really sharp. Once you are happy with the shape, use very fine sandpaper to smooth everything down. Basically, you are just polishing now and don't forget to go inside as well. And now your blowing hole should be finished. It's time to try it out. Before you can try the flute out, uh, there is one more thing you have to do. You have to cut a piece of cork, push it inside about this far, and then hopefully the flute should be making a sound. This is my piece of cork. Uh, I'm going to push it inside the flute. Like I said, about this far. It's about 1.5 centimeters far from the blowing hole, but again, this is a thing you have to experiment with. Make sure the cork is undamaged. Uh, there are no holes in it, otherwise it's going to mess up the tuning of your flute. So you push it inside.
and now with the cork inside and the flute closed from one end you should be able to make a sound. Well, uh, it makes a tone now, so it is a time to find out what tone it is. Uh, so grab your tuner and let's get into tuning. So, as you can see on the screen, hopefully, uh, the flute is not playing a G tone, it's playing something between an F and F sharp, which means we have to take a little piece or several little pieces from the bottom of the flute to make the sound higher, to make the tone higher, and gradually we are going to take little pieces from the bottom until we get the G tone. After cutting these pieces of the flute, you are left with this, and as you can see, we are getting a clean G tone. The next step is putting marks uh, for the playing holes on the flute. There are two ways how you can do this. You have uh, already a G flute, so you just copy all the measurements, put them on the flute. But if you don't have a G flute, or you are making a flute of a tuning you don't have, uh, you have to do some calculations. The first thing you have to do is measure the length of the flute. I mean, not the whole distance, from the top to the bottom, but just from the blowing hole to the bottom of the flute. In my case, it's 386 millimeters, but in your case, it can be different. Remember the step before when we were making the flute slightly shorter, piece by piece? Uh, it's possible that your flute is 300. 90 millimeters, let's say, and still playing the G tone. Can happen. It depends on the precise diameter of the flute, on the kind of wood you have used, on the shape of your blowing hole. There are many factors involved here. Uh, that's why these numbers are not set in stone. But in my case, 386 millimeters, and I know that for the first hole, which is going to be this one, uh, the distance from the bottom of the flute is 17.8% of this value, which is... around 68.7 millimeters. So now I know that the place for my first hole is going to be 68.7 millimeters from the bottom. So I just take my ruler and my pencil and I mark it right here. All the other holes you just follow 
just follow this, this method and you mark all of them on the flute. Uh, the distance between the between the first and the second hole is 7.5% from the total length of the flute, from the number we already know. So again, you do some calculations and it's 28.9 millimeters, almost 29 millimeters. So again, you take your pencil and your ruler, you measure the distance, you mark it on the flute, and you are good to go. And you repeat the procedure again and again. As you can see, I have all the playing goals marked now. It's time to use the chisel and the knife and cut them. As you can see, I already have uh, three of the holes finished. Uh, I'm going to show you how you make the three more and how you tune the playing holes. You start the same way as with the blowing hole. You take your chisel, you carefully cut the hole. Remember, don't make it too big. Start small and you can always make it bigger. You can't make it smaller. But if you don't have the chisel, use your knife. It's not going to be so nice and clean, but it's gonna work. Now I have the hole cut. I'm going to use the knife and clean the edges. And then again, take a piece of sandpaper. Now I have the hole cut and the edges are smooth. As you can see, it's slightly smaller than the three other holes. And we are going to test what kind of a tone we can get with this hole. As we know from the chart, that should be popping somewhere around here. And the tone we need is, is D, but what we are getting is C sharp, a little bit above C sharp. So in order to make the tone higher and get the D, uh, we need to make this hole bigger. I'm using my knife and the sandpaper to make the hole bigger. Be careful not to split the wood. Make sure to remove any pieces of the wood that are inside and test the flute again. Check if the tone is right. As you can see, the flute is still a little bit flat but we are coming closer to the D. Uh, we are just going to rinse and repeat, make the, f the hole, the playing hole, a little bit bigger again, and then check if we are getting the right tone. If not, we continue doing this until we get the clean tone. And now, after a few more rounds of expanding the hole, we are getting the clean tone D, as you can see in the tuner. And both the upper and the lower octave. Uh, if, the, if the sound is, is not uh, very pretty, uh, don't, don't mind yet. Uh, most likely there is a lot of, lot of uh, debris inside. Uh, we are going to apply some oil finish and all of these things, cleaning the inside of the flute, are going to improve the sound in the end. Uh, use this method for all the other playing holes, the bottom, all of them actually. And you start making a very small hole, you check the tone and then you gradually increase the size of the playing hole and you just continue doing it until you get the tone you want. There may be some trouble with this. 
you may encounter a situation where you are playing the lower octave and it's clean. The, the sound is fine and the tone is clean. But the upper octave may be slightly flat. Uh, most likely. There are many causes of this or possible causes of this. The walls of the flute are too thick or too thin. There may be there may be some kind of a problem with the whole placement. Uh, there are tricks and possible solutions how to fix this, but it's again uh, that's a topic maybe for another time. Uh, so hopefully it's going to work out for you, and the tone is going to be fine in both the lower and the higher octave. So let's finish the two more holes and check what we get. And here we have the finished flute. As you can see, I have all the holes finished, drilled and perfectly tuned. The flute is almost ready. Uh, I mean, you can try it out, you can play it. piece of sandpaper, you sand the flute down, take out all these lines and any other sharp edges, you take out the cork, uh, clean the inside as well. Uh, what works really well for me is, is taking a long piece of wood, attaching a piece of sandpaper like this, put it in twist it around, clean the inside, uh, remove all the debris and there it is. I've cleaned up the flute, I've applied some linseed oil uh, both to the outside and the inside of the flute. Uh, if you don't have a linseed oil you can also use uh, olive oil for example, it's gonna work. We take the cork, we insert it back, back inside Push it to the same position as before and try it out. Uh, once you apply the oil and clean the inside of the flute, the sound of the flute should be noticeably better and stronger. to do is uh, take the piece of softwood, insert it into the flute, then you take your saw and you cut it. You cut a very thin stripe of the flute together with the softwood. This way you get a perfect fit. And this is the finished flute. As you can see, the end is sealed with a piece of softwood. Uh, the inside is cleaned out. All the, all the holes are clean and perfectly tuned. And the flute is ready to be played.
Hope you liked the video guys. If you have any questions, ask down in the comments and go for it. Make your own flute. Try it. Good luck.